Oh, hi everyone, uh, this is Karan and uh, I am right now working as a senior data analyst at Highmark Health Solutions here in Pittsburgh in the United States. And um, so I did my master's from Carnegie Mellon University here in Pittsburgh and my master's was in information systems management. And before this, I had around five years of work experience in India working with uh, TCS and Capgemini as a consultant. And before that, I did my undergrad in computer science from Bapuji Institute of Engineering and Technology from uh, Daungay in Karnataka. I was working with Capgemini as a test automation consultant. So a lot of my interaction was with uh, business analysts in our team. So that was, uh, you know, that, that was a starting point for me about, uh, you know, I wanted to make a transition from uh, being a test, uh, test analyst to uh, a business analyst slash data analyst job. So I was getting much more interested into, you know, how things are um, uh, gathered, requirements gathering, and uh, a lot of data analysis that was happening at uh, uh, with my client back in Capgemini was uh, the starting point of me deciding to get into a master's here in the United States. So my GI score was uh, 321, uh, my quant score was 167, and the verbal was 154. So, uh, and my preparation, uh, so I, I gave my GRA in June 2016 and my TOEFL in August 2016. So I made sure that I had around four or four slash five months of uh, time for me to prepare because um, that, that's one thing that I would suggest to people is that you need to gauge your understanding before you start preparing for GRE so that you give yourself enough time to make sure that you are up to, uh, you know, up to that uh, standard of at least, uh, you know, completing the entire four and a half uh, grilling hours of your life uh, in a successful manner. So that's, that's one thing I would suggest there to everyone to make sure that you have enough time. And for uh, going specifically for the verbal section, I, uh, you know, initially understood that it will take some time for me and um, so I made sure that I uh, referenced a lot of, uh, you know, New York Times, the New Yorker, Guardian. They have a lot of reading materials available on a daily basis and you know, the blogs are um, uh, very helpful in, you know, you also encounter a lot of words that you'll go through, you know, the GRE words uh, vocabulary also. So yeah, that was one thing and, and with quants, I, I would like to uh, suggest a lot of practice. And before I started with my GRE preparation, I also prepared for my CAT exam here uh, in India. So uh, with MBA, um, I will quite honestly, cost was also a very big uh, you know, issue. And I wanted to make a transition into something where I would still uh, get in touch with you know the technical side of the work. So I was not completely inclined to uh, towards an MBA from that point of view. So I, I, I ended up doing a lot of uh, Python coding here in my course, and that was uh, a very you know good, good experience for me to get into the technical side of it. So yeah, I didn't go for an MBA at that point. With my applications, I was in a split when I got a call from I had applied for uh, five universities. I got called from four of them, but um, yeah. So between CMU and I had also applied for Texas A&M. So these two were uh, my choices at that point of time. But I made sure that what happens with uh, with a uh, with a university like Carnegie Mellon is you get to know a lot of people who are working with you, and and that extends with time. So after I have graduated in may this year i have got in touch with a lot of people who are from carnegie mellon in pittsburgh and outside of pittsburgh also so that is a long term um, uh, you know a, 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 a long term commitment that you have towards your universities and your alumni that is actually i think was a good decision at that point of time you get to learn a lot you get to 
work with a lot of people who are from different backgrounds. So you have people coming in from Amazon, from Ola, from Flipkart in India, and you are in groups working with them. So you get to understand a lot of things. So that was one of my, I, I, I spent a lot of time researching that. And I, I um, also a, a, a loan helps uh, with you with the application process. So yeah, the, all, all these things are a consideration at that point. So uh, Yocket helped me in getting in touch with a lot of people who have uh, gone through the uh, this process. And I, I remember using one of the fe uh, uh, features where you can um, uh, you put in your scores and there are a list of universities in, 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 in the app that I could see. There was a, a very nice uh, list that I got based on what I was expecting on my GRE score. So that was uh, helpful for getting in touch with people and, you know, uh, asking them questions about whether this is, you know, uh, worth going ahead with because of the commitment with the fee. Yeah. So with CMU, I got my loan approved from Prodigy Finance, and that is a very helpful, um, uh, very helpful website for getting your loans approved and it's very hassle free. And that is what I liked about that process. And they directly communicate with the university. So they have a list of specific universities that they would give out loan for. So they don't give it uh, for every university across the United States. So that's that's a very big factor in my, uh, that was a big factor in my uh, decision. Yeah. I, I would really suggest people to spend some time in the in their work ex, uh, work environment, at least three years of work experience, that gets you up to speed with how you need to deal with people. Because uh, especially a twelve month course like mine, if you would be put into multiple groups, you'll lose track of time. At at times, you will be, you know, dealing with people who are uh, with you know quite different in their approach of uh, working together. So that's that's a very uh, you know it sounds simple, but with your work experience, you get to know how do you handle your uh, you know your even your time and people both. So I, I would suggest uh, go make that decision once you have started working. You will be much more clearer in what you want, and you will know how to you know deal with uh, different situations, uh, especially once you start your course. Here, um, one thing that I would uh, suggest everyone is to start off early. If you are graduating, uh, for example, I graduated in May and our job application and search process started from January. So anywhere between four, three or four months before you graduate, start applying for full-time opportunities because it takes a lot of time. And the reason is uh, most of the time in India, you get a uh, you know, sufficiently a better ratio of applying and getting a call. But uh, with my experience here, it takes a lot of time to get your resume shortlisted because people are uh, very particular about how you present yourself in a one page resume. It cannot be more than one page. So my application process took almost, uh, you know, after four months, uh, I got, uh, there was a, and the process was a two, month interview process with four rounds of uh, interview. So it took me two months to interview with Highmark and get a final confirmation in July. So that was two months after I graduated. So make sure that you have enough time at, in your hand to uh, apply to different uh, companies. And um, with respect to Highmark, my current profile is as a senior data analyst. So we work with a lot of um, tools and um, mostly ETL process with tools like Tableau and Alteryx. So these are uh, mostly used to analyze the data that we have with uh, Highmark. The application process, as I mentioned, give enough time to yourself to prepare for your GRE. Make sure you have properly researched the institution you are applying for. And um, one thing that is that is very, uh, you know, the colleges are very transparent about is the courses. 
make sure you give enough time for you to go through the courses that they are offering because uh, you know that is going to be your pitch for your job application also so a lot of my interviews most of the interviews will be about what you did in your courses what was your in, uh, you know input into those courses and things like that and they'll make sure that you are aware of uh, you know what you are writing on your resume so make sure that you follow these procedures of you know uh, having a one page resume things like that will take time but uh, eventually yes if you have you know you reach out to people um, you know talk to other people who are working with you in groups things like that and uh, you'll make sure you you will end up in a position where you are confident with uh, you know interviews and uh, getting a full time job opportunity it will take time but uh, yeah that will also may make you you know much more prepared for your uh, full time job also so uh, best of luck to everyone who is applying for their uh, dream universities and make sure you are prepared and yeah best of luck see you in the united states uh, next fall